Hi, it's me. It's only me. Una. How are you? God, this is hilarious, this whole thing. Well, not really, but sure, you know. Um, right. Um, so, I'm not very good at this whole cog thing. As you know, I'm sure. So, I'll get right to it. I'll tell you the truth. It's about Dad. He's not very well. Look, I need you. Will you come home? I know it's been a while, a long while, but we're making dinner on Friday, Annie and I. Mm. I can't promise anything brilliant, but it'll be something. Everyone will be there. Well, sure. You can let me know anyway. Bye. Hey, Una, it's Catherine. I'm just calling about your message. I've booked a flight for Friday morning, so I'll probably get to you at like three. I can do a shop on route and get any bits you need for dinner, so just text me a list. I assume all the girls will be there. Right, okay. I'll text you when I land. We'll see you soon. And um, I hope you and Annie are doing okay. Just make sure she's okay, will you? I know you will. Or are. Yeah. He's lucky to have his. Okay. Love. Love you. Bye. Hey, Una. Yeah, Annie's mentioned it. I mean, this is always the story with him, isn't it? I haven't seen him in weeks. But Eamon said he saw him at the stag's head recently, and he said he looked grand. I guess he always looks grand. Speak of the devil, here he is. It's to Una. Hey, Una. I said it to Eamon too, so he'll be there. Pass that on to Annie, she'll be delighted. Is he really that bad? <sighs> sure, I'll see you on Friday. Okay? Yeah. I love you. I love Annie. Love you, Annie. We'll bring wine. Hi, Maraid. This is Annie. How are you? It's been so long. Um, I, I know you haven't seen our dad well, your dad, I mean, I mean dad, um, in a while. And I was just thinking that you'd want to know that he's not very well. Like, uh, like he's sick and we, we don't know. But, but yeah, he, he, he's sick. Anyways, um, we're all going to be home this Friday. Dad's house, I mean, like, Clodagh, Catherine, obviously Una will be there. And so I was just thinking that maybe you'd like to come too? No pressure, and don't worry if you can't make it, but yeah, just, just to let you know. Okay, see you Friday, maybe. Bye.
you done? Are you alright? Yeah. Yeah, I should be in a minute. You're bleeding. Una, she's bleeding. Catherine. Come here and let me see you and put pressure on it so it slows the bleeding. Yeah. Right. I'm fine. I've just gone and sliced my thumb on that stupid bloody peeler. Well, there are plasters in the cupboard under the sink. Annie, show your sister. They're in here. Just so you know. Thanks, Annie. Yeah, that's the plaster, uh, the cupboard for the plasters, the medical supplies, that kind of thing. Good to have them on hand. It's all different. Yes, it is. Una didn't like it the way it was. The arrangement of the cupboards couldn't find a bloody thing. <laughs> there were no complaints when I was here. Yeah, when you were here. It's just Annie and I now, so. <laughs> Did a deep clean last week, didn't we? Oh yeah? I mean after the rats. Una. What? No. It happened. I'm not going to pretend it didn't. There were rats in here. We had one. The resident, as I like to call him. Our very own resident rat, except he wasn't paying any rent. We called him Rodney. It was all fun and games when there was one, but where there's one, there's a There's a family. Don't worry, Cappy. They're all gone now. Una called the rat catcher and he came and sprayed them with this stuff and they all disappeared. <laughs> and what did Dad have to say about that? He laughed. Well, he didn't find the rat part funny, obviously, but when word got out about the rat catcher's wife, he was in fits. <laughs> Go on then. So, there's this woman he knows from down the pub and she's there every night drinking, getting herself into a right state and complaining about this and that and her sorry excuse of a husband. And then Dad was there once and he heard her say that she was starting exposure therapy for her fear of rodents. She goes, according to him. My husband's got an extermination business, so I'm going with him on his rounds. And, and who turns up here with the rat catcher but her? Honestly, Catherine, it was the middle of the night and these rats are sprinting up and down my new carpet. And this rat catcher is hitting them from every angle. Like this. <laughs> and then Dad wakes up with the noise of it all. He's going, Una, Annie, what is that bloody sound? Yeah, Annie, well, he wants to know everything. So we tell him about the, the rats and the carpet. But, but remember, he didn't even care about that. He just goes, <laughs> Who was that woman screaming? I know her voice from somewhere. And before I can even answer him, he goes, wait. I would recognize that voice from anywhere. It's your one from down the pub who's been shagging the rat catcher. <laughs> Exposure therapy. <laughs> Honest to God, Catherine, you should have seen it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the thought of them two sitting at home together and that man catching rats and then putting them down her bra. I <laughs> Dad was so happy. He was. He was. Has he eaten? Has who eaten, love? Dad. Has he eaten? <coughs> oh, I don't know. Has he eaten, Annie? I don't know. Well, go ask him, would you? What do you mean? Well, you were just up there with the washing, so surely you can go back up and ask him if he's hungry or not. Well, why can't you? I'm busy. Yeah. You want me to go up and ask him? Go on, ask him nicely. I'm sure he's starving. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, love. Yeah, he still likes roast dinner then? He does, to my knowledge. I haven't made one in a long time, but I'm sure he'll not say no. Oh, well, he's had good practice at it. Not with you. I put the new shopping in the fridge for you. I could have done that. Yeah, you could have. But who knows when. Okay, fine, there were a few things that had gone off in there, but I was in the process of sorting them out. You know, everything in that fridge just seems to rot and disintegrate in a matter of moments right in my bloody hands. Ah, uh, yeah, no, you're right. Sure, you can't do anything about that. It's just how it is with food now. The, uh, flowers make the kitchen look better. Look, a spade's a spade, Catherine. You can't doll it up and make it look like a rake. Oh, you're speaking riddles in a man. Do you know that? He was asleep. 
Oh, he was asleep, Catherine. So he's not hungry then? No, he was asleep. But did you shake him? Is he eating with us when he wakes up? Did you ask him that? He was asleep. So you didn't say, Dad, wakey, wakey. No. Right. Well, I kind of need to know so I can make him off. Well, why don't you just pop some in the fridge for him when he's up? Well, why doesn't he pop down and show his face? Annie, I'll go back up and ask him. Oh, love, do you know what? I'll, I'll go up and ask him. Won't you, love? But, but he was asleep. Well, he won't be after you wake him well, up. Well, he's going to be annoyed. Well, not if you just shake him and you just say, Dad, do you want some dinner? Do you want me to wake him up? We just want you to nudge him no, and then no, maybe... he was snoring. Well, you just whisper in his ear nice and lightly and then whisper maybe... In a his whisper ear. in noise. Same. Oh, and he won't like Look, just that. shake his bloody arm and ask him about potatoes. Girls. I'll make enough. No, I just can't bear the silence of it all. <laughs> all right, that's it. Zara, pair to Una's iPhone. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Pair to Una's iPhone. Pairing with Una's iPhone. Second thing has never heard of a father in its life. <laughs> What are you putting on? Something fun. No, look, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. Fine. Well, how are you getting on with the homework, Ben? Um, I'm a bit stuck. Stuck? You should have said I'm right here. Yeah. How do you spell accommodate? Is it two C's, one M, or 
one C and two M's. Or What's this? Wait, accommodate, how do you spell well, it? I always thought I had two C's and one M. But no, I tried that, you know, and it looks wrong. Well, why are you asking me then if you know how to spell it? But I don't know. It just don't be that smart with me here. Come on. What's two C's actually? Catherine! Well, they laid John off last week. Who's next? You? I'm telling you, they called me in for a meeting. Eamon Brown is on the up. What does on the up mean in a declining county level tech company? It means more of what you asked for. Excuse me. It means paying the bills. I'll believe it when I see it. She's trying to do her English essay. Spelling bee, is it, Annie? On a Friday night, Annie. Is it two C's or one? What? Accommodate. Let me see. It has one. Look, okay. Do the thing. I'm telling you it has one. C-O-N? Are you guys being no, for real? No, we've got one and two C's. I already told you. No, it's two C's and two M's. It's two of both. Okay, you might have swallowed it. I didn't swallow it. Oh my god, it's two C's. Hey, Sarah! Spell accommodate. Accommodate. A, C, C, O, M, M, O, C, A, T, E. I give up. Oh, ye of little faith. Right, we get it. You can spell. You know what? Put your pen down. Your sister's right. It is a Friday night, okay? Yeah, same as it always was with you. Not my fault. You can't back down. What's for dinner, then? Potatoes. Only potatoes. Is he having some? Yeah, where is the old man? He's asleep. We'll keep some aside for him. Unless you savages decide to eat his portion too. Oh, well, no chance of that with the rate that man eats. God, remember, you could never get him out of that chipper down the road. What's it called? The golden chip. <laughs> How do you know that? Well, do better savages than a chip, please. <laughs> and a curry chip, Eamon? And that's what I said. <laughs> it's gone now, that chipper. What? Yeah, it burnt down last month in the middle of the night. We oh haven't had God. chips in months. Well, Dad refuses to get them from anywhere else. Sacrilege, he says. Oh, of course. <laughs> and uh, what happened to Maria from behind the till? Well, she's gone now. The rest of them left the town for good, no reason to stay. God, that is so sad. I loved it there. That was our Friday night tradition for years. <laughs> and look, here we are now on a Friday night. No chips. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Eamon. They're just chips, Catherine. Yeah, I know that, but there's no Do you remember the Friday? Those chips made him so ill he had to lay in bed all weekend. I remember, Eamon. I don't think it was the chips that were making him sick. Nothing gets past you. Sharp as a nail, Aruna. Never misses a beat. Well, I've seen her miss a few. Can't afford to miss a beat in this house. What's it been here, like here, with him? Fine. I'm tired. <laughs> well, we're here now. It'll take the edge off. Yeah, it's nice to see you. We missed you. Annie and I. Yeah. It's really quiet when you're not here. I love it when you come. Since when were you ever quiet, Annie man? She's growing up, lots of thoughts, and that gorgeous head of hers. <laughs> Catherine, I'm starving. When's dinner? Another hour, give or take. I don't know if I can wait that long. Well, tough. You'll just have to. Come on, Glow. We can fill your belly with wine and good conversation. <laughs> yeah, because that'll fill the hole. Use lot in your great chat life. Incoming reminder, shift on Main Street, tomorrow at 9am. Sarah, remove from calendar. Removing shift on Main Street, tomorrow at 9am. Planning on a big night tonight? Not necessarily. Where's that wine? Main Street. Yep. Still there. Still working for the same people I always was. Still paying me the same they always were. Still picking up the same bed sheets and dirty laundry I always have. Look, Una, you were stuck for cash. You should have just let me know. Dad's helped me. Annie, do you get pocket money? Sometimes. <laughs> You're loaded, aren't you? You just don't want to let <laughs> off. It costs a fortune to heat this place, Claude, and none of us are exactly living it up. Well, Catherine seems to be. In London. <laughs> What? Yeah, you know, I think we all need to remind ourselves of where we started. Uh, your old man was a solicitor. <laughs> Yeah, big lawyer, daddy, and still cutting our own hair to afford dinner. And we always had dinner, Una. Thank God your hair's grown out since, Annie. Yeah, 
No more of that god awful bob you had before. Hey. <laughs> Did you remember that? No, Annie. Did your mommy come in with the kitchen scissors and... I did it, Eamon. Not ma'am. Yeah, it was the garden shears, actually, Eamon. Well, you cut her fringe all wonky. I didn't mind it. Yeah, like, we saw it in a magazine, how all them ladies were doing it in Paris. Ah, <laughs> yeah, uh, so chic. <laughs> you looked like Mairead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Do you remember that? Yeah, there's a photo of the two of you at Dad's 50th and you look the exact same. It's an awful photo. Is she nice? Mairead. No, I don't remember that, Annie. Surely it was before my time. Well, you've been around as long as I can remember, Eamon, so I doubt it. Fair enough. Like a Baruka on the sole of your foot, you half can get it. Uh, now, Cat, wouldn't be like you to start throwing a few digs my way. Oh, well, you know yourself, Eamon. Gotta keep it fresh. Well, I think her hair is beautiful at the moment. Suits you, Annie. The length of it. Thanks. Catherine used to cut all of our hair. You should have seen the hack <laughs> of Una. Ah, watch your tongue. <laughs> Yeah, and she used to scream at me the whole time while I was doing it too. While you were butchering it, more like. And Annie, you were always so well behaved. And you, on the other hand, don't get me started on you. Oh, she's a fiery one, our ginger. Shut <laughs> up, Eamon. <laughs> she's a redhead, Eamon. A redhead. Yeah, well, red and, gi and ginger are one and the same on the Pantone colour chart, so. <laughs> Used to it now, Kat. Nine years I've had to put up with this shite from him. Well, Mum used to hate it when people called you ginger. <laughs> Yeah, more than anything in the world. Well, she would have loved your hair. Thanks. You never mentioned that, Chloe. It's not an issue, honestly. It hurt in the playground, but I can take it from you in my own kitchen. Ginger! In my own kitchen. Excuse me! Who's been standing here with the peeler in her hand? My own kitchen. Thank you very much. Honestly, Catherine, you have been gone for so long, it hardly recognises you. Tell me where those plasters are again. I'm sure your studio apartment in London has nothing on this paradise. Fuck <laughs> oh, off. Well, I'll tell you what London does have. They have Tories. Fuck tons of Tories. They have them here too. Yeah. I know. Your dad's the biggest one I know. <laughs> What's that? He's always been a very traditional man. Traditional. Is that the word? Oh, yeah, just the damn right. Well, right. Catherine, what does London have that we don't? Rats. <laughs> Everywhere. Lucky we've got a man for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A good feckin' hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might need the number there for Eamon. Oh, sorry? I'll need you. No, what is wrong with my hair? I like it. Thank you. Look, on the bright side, Eamon, it is nowhere near as bad as it used to be. Come <laughs> on, now! Oh, look! <laughs> Evidence. What? You, Eamon, and his god-awful hair. Oh, oh me and Eamon? Oh, my God. <laughs> no, Una. What? Yeah, it's a photo from that pretend wedding you guys had as kids. <laughs> I must have been only nine or ten. <laughs> god. I remember if the three of you came running in from the garden begging to have a little wedding ceremony. <laughs> Uh, Clona, you were the bridesmaid, and do you remember the hack of Annie? We caked your face in Mum's old makeup. What? Let me see. Yeah, you were the flower girl. <laughs> the most important job. And Una. Bless. You were swamped in Mum's old wedding dress. It was beautiful. And Eamon, you borrowed one of Dad's suit jackets, and you begged him to play with us, so of course he did. He always listen to you. Hmm. Una Mahan, your daddy walked you down the aisle that day, and I'll never forget it. I, uh, I know it's just pretend, but, um, kind of seemed real then. I, uh, was definitely real. Beer can in hand. <laughs> that man never changed. What, you don't remember? I do. You remember too? Those were the days I fought to get a word in edgeways with you two. Well, sure. There's no fighting anymore. Oh, there might be when Cloda takes his second aim. <sighs> oh yeah, Eamon. 
<laughs> when are you going to pop the question? Oh, here we go. Uh, uh, He's not going to answer you. Yeah, yeah, don't put a man on the spot. Oh, uh, well, you'd want to ask him what he thinks now. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I will soon. I hear you're seeing someone. What? <laughs> Annie's going for a snog! As in... No way! One tallow. Why would I tell you anything? I don't have... You don't have to. A little birdie already told me. Luna! I only told her what I saw, okay? No names, no dirty details. Why don't you two the best of pals? She did always love a gossip. Well, we're sisters, Eamon. What do you expect? No secrets. We tell each other everything. Well, don't leave me hanging. Nope. Oh. <laughs> I only mentioned the bush. Bush. You were up against. And the alleyway. Alleyway. Oh my God. Down. And the tongue. Tongue. Oh, that was oh, right. right. oh, 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 Stop. Was it Carl Mulcahy? No. Mm, James O'Reilly. No. Uh, James Smith. Eamon the Hardly. girl wants you to shut up. Yes, please. <laughs> Are you still keeping tabs on the place, Eamon? Yeah, well. I have my sources, Kat. Oh, well, I'd love to know who they are. Well, is he fit? What, are you suddenly on the market, Clara? We're literally doing the leaving search. Annie. Weirdo. Annie, tell your sisters, please. Ah, uh, girls, you said it. This is your family, no secrets. <laughs> yeah, Eamon, and you're the cool big brother. Yes. <laughs> okay, just leave it, all right? You don't have to, she doesn't have to tell you anything more. Nice. Who'd have known you'd be the one bringing the drama? Annie. What do you mean by that? Eamon Brown. Speechless for the first time in his life. What, has the cat got your tongue? <laughs> cat. <laughs> well, any more wine for my sins? <laughs> I've been waiting for you to ask me that all night. We brought some. Oh, good. Where's the other bottle you had? Where'd you put it? I thought you were the one bringing it. <laughs> Eamon. I swear no, to God. Get off my back. Amy, well, that is the this one thing. This is the thing one I... thing we talked about. What we are you said... talking about? That's the one thing I it's asked in you your to bag. remember. I'll oh, check. I'll oh, check for real. Yes. I... Amy, seriously. Hello. Very funny. <laughs> Looks decent enough. <laughs> Where's the glasses? How many is it? Are you having some? Obviously. Five. What do you mean, obviously? She's having a glass? No, she's not. It's okay, Catherine. She's 17. <laughs> Nearly 18. She's sitting here in a school uniform. You're acting like I'm not even here. Oh, come on, Catherine. What were you doing when you were 17? I wasn't bloody drinking. That's for sure. Oh. It's not like she's getting pissed every night, like. Oh, and that's the standard that we're holding, is it? Ah, oh. <laughs> Thank God for that, then. It's only once or twice a week. It's not her problem. No, it's his. You know, <laughs> I expected this from Glenda, but I really didn't expect it from you. Well, what's that supposed to mean? You'd expect what from me? Uh, nothing. Kind of, I didn't mean anything by it. What is that supposed to mean? Go on, say it. Jesus Christ, girls, calm down. Oh, calm down. You started this. Well, you know how I feel about what's going on here. Oh, would you take that stick out of your arse? You know, you can't just come back here after all this time. Judging us. Playing the victim card. Acting like you know better because you live in London now. Huh? Yeah, well, London might have chewed you up, but it spat you right back out. And you are still one of us, so. <laughs> you are nothing like me. <laughs> and thank God for that. <laughs> Look, guys, stop. Annie, please. <laughs> You're offering your little sister a drink. It's a Friday night. Well, what does that even mean? It means that it's my house, it's a Friday night, and we're having a drink. Oh, so we're all on the drink then, <laughs> is it? I'll just put the glass back. You know, yeah. you just arrived. You have no idea. I think I have a pretty good idea, Una. We're not dads. No, exactly. You should know better. OK, you left. What else was I supposed to do? Take care of her. And what do you think I've been doing for the past Three years. I don't know. What has she been doing, Annie? Leave her out of this. Annie, go upstairs. No, no, no. Sure, if she's old enough to have the drink, then she's old enough to hear it. You know, I've been here for three hours, and I've stood in this kitchen, and I've cleaned up your mess. Where's this dinner you promised us, huh? Did you just assume I would make it? 
I want to help you, Una. I'm happy to do what I can, but I'm not your maid. And when you take out that bin, the whole place stinks of booze and everyone can smell it. <laughs> it was always the exact same with him. <laughs> you know, not a single one of you has asked me a question all evening. That's not true, Cut. <laughs> oh, no, you're right, Cloda. Actually, you did ask multiple times. And dinner will be ready when it's ready. You know what? Fuck this. I am sick of always being the bad guy. Take some fucking ownership of your own lives. Okay. Annie, can you come here, please? I wonder what they think of all of this. <laughs> they would have run away from here a long time ago. <laughs> Some more wine. Thank you, Eamon. You know, sometimes I like to think they would have ran together. One of them already did. Are you sure? Finally, someone normal. Someone normal and crisps. Ooh, I'm starving. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm sorry, but there's a lot of talk about dinner in there tonight, but I don't fucking see any being made. <laughs> Can you believe that? Can you actually believe what's going on in there? I told you this would happen. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. I told you this would happen, didn't I? Didn't I? Mm -hmm. She just she didn't get it. I, I just don't know, Eamon, I just don't know if I can do this any longer. Can we leave soon? Incoming message from Eamon Brown. It's weird being here again. I miss you. Would you like to reply? Zara, off! <laughs> I, um... Why did we even come here? Thank you.
right here. <laughs> <laughs> Can she see him? He's asleep. Oh. Yeah, that's right. He's asleep. <laughs> well, I'm sure he's awake now. Oh, what are you actually doing here, Maraid? I just, I invited She invited me to see my father. Who's very unwell, I've been led to believe. And how the hell did you get a hold of her? I have her number. Dad gave it to me a while ago. Oh. So you've been chatting. <coughs> I see. <coughs> you said everyone. Well, uh, thanks for the call, Annie. I mean, I knew he wasn't well, but I didn't know my dad was dying. Yeah, well, he's been on his way out for years. Amen. What? She deserves to see him. You know what? Yeah. Go on up. I'm sure he'd love to chat to you. Or are you too afraid he'll have nothing to say? And that's his seat. But he's not sitting there now, Catherine. Exactly. Sit yourself down. Will you be having dinner, Maraid? She will. Any dietary requirements for it? <laughs> no, you're all good. If it's too much of a hassle, I don't have to actually eat anything. No, there's enough. There's enough, Catherine, isn't there? Well, I wouldn't want her eating the food off of Dad's cold plate now, would I? I'll make enough. So how long have you guys been chatting? Well, Annie was the one to reach out to me. That's nice of her, and I appreciate it. Thank you, Annie. I mean, I think this is good that we're all here together. Oh, Flapjack, anyone? Um, they're gluten free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it'd be nice if we were all here together. Is he upstairs, Annie? He's asleep. <coughs> Give the man peace. You know what he's like. Do you drink? Maraid, I'll have a small glass, uh, just a drop. Oh! She'll have a glass! She will, she will, she will. See, Catherine, some of us know how to have fun. So how often does this happen, all of you here, together? Never, Maraid. This never happens. Cheers to Dad, then, for uh, bringing us all together. Uh, yeah, sorry. Eamon, get another glass, will you? Eamon. Eamon Brown. Hello, Maraid. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, it is you. Um, we met, didn't we, at a Dad's 50? Yeah, yeah, we did indeed. <laughs> Still the uh, male mountain tag along. Part of the furniture. 
Dad's always loved Eamon. Son he never had. Oh. Maybe I should have been a boy then. <laughs> oh, I don't think there would have been room for the two of you. Well, I'll take this as my way of um, squeezing it. And Annie tells me you are with Cloda now. Yeah. yeah. Nine years, actually. Oh, funny. I never would have put you two together. <laughs> uh, and how are you, Mairead? Um, <laughs> you know, grand, all things considered. How's your mum? Yeah, she's... she's great. Uh, she... Does she know you're here? Well, no, she's actually in Dublin. Oh, Dublin! Oh, that's very fancy. Yeah, well, we have been up and down to Dublin ever since I've graduated. You've graduated? Yes. From where? Trinity College. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Sure that's where our Annie wants to go. Oh. I'm trying to get the points. Oh, well, college is hard, Annie. Our Annie is good at everything. Oh, well done to you, Mairead. I would have loved to have gone had I had the chance. I could show you around campus, Annie. And in and out, if you'd like. Oh, lovely. We'd love that, wouldn't we, Annie? Get you on a train to the big city and your big sister can show you around. Or I could do you one better. I could take you to Paris. <laughs> Paris? Seriously? Yeah. Well, Eamon and I have been dying to go to Paris for years. It's been in the diary. In the diary? Don't listen to him. We nearly booked the flights last month. <laughs> yeah, we'll work out my hours so we can keep dreaming. <laughs> yeah, we can. Well, tell me when you do. I mean, I've been in Paris this past year on a uh, postgrad thing. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> um, I told Dad about it. Maybe he mentioned it. Uh, you know what? Come to think of it, I don't think that he did, but good for you. Conquering the big bad world. Gosh, he must be so proud. Catherine's been living in London for the past three years. Oh, London! Yes! <laughs> Lovely city. Of course, I could never live there, but uh, then again, I've never really thought about settling down anywhere other than here. Home, I mean. Nobody stays here if they can help it. But you did. Because I had to. I could have helped. Helped? Great. Right. This is far beyond your help. He really is very ill, Mairead. Do you even speak to him? Do you? Not recently, no, but before. Yes. Before when? Well, I haven't heard from him in a while, and obviously, and I know why. And why is that? <laughs> He's sick, <laughs> Catherine. And what's he been telling you? Yeah, what's he been telling Judith? I don't think he's been telling my mother anything. Last time we spoke, he told me that Annie had just finished fifth year, told me that Catherine was still off in London. He told me that you haven't been here in God knows how long. And he told me that he would love to see me. Doesn't sound like Dad, does it? <laughs> Not our Dad, no. Didn't mention me. No. <laughs> this is no surprise. <laughs> no. I didn't realise you felt so hard, don't I? <laughs> oh, what, and you do? I haven't seen him in years. Uh, look, I am a man, of course he wants to see me. <laughs> You're really taking pride in that second name, aren't you? I always have. Is Judith parading around your second name like that? I don't see how this has anything to do with my mother. Oh, this has everything to do with your mother. Look! If you can't hold a conversation with me without bringing up my situation. <laughs> your situation? Your Trinity situation? Oh, your France situation? Do you want to know what the fucking situation is here, Mariah? I know what the situation is here, Catherine. I know that my dad is dying and none of you told me. 
And that's all you know about him. At least him. one of you had enough of a guilty conscience to allow me to say goodbye. <laughs> Oh, you know what? This is so typical. You tore this family apart once, and here you are to do it again. You know, this is fine before you came. We were doing absolutely fine. I'm going upstairs. Upstairs. You're upset because your dad's dying. You haven't had to put up with any of the shit that we have. If you actually knew what was going on here, Right, if you actually knew the kind of person that he was. God, if you actually knew how he treated this I family. want to see my dad. Is that not what you all want? Well, he doesn't want to see you. He hates you. I'm sure hate's a strong word. Catherine, leave it out. It was years ago. Leave it out? You and your mother took our dad away. <laughs> You're only half of what we are. And you know it. <laughs> Annie? Jesus Christ. Catherine, you know what? You are just like him. Oh yeah, well you don't know the half of it. Well, neither do you, Catherine. I'm going to the bathroom. You know, for the life of me, I can't even remember why we don't like her. Honey, <laughs> it's not your fault. Well, should I go out there? thinks that we hate her. No, we don't, really. <coughs> Do we? Go to and go and get her, love. She'll be alright. I feel bad for her. <coughs> Me too. What? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I just feel bad for her. Do you know how terrible that sounds? What? Oh, you feel bad for her. And that makes it all okay. Makes what okay? <laughs> Annie, I know you're upset because you invited her, but that doesn't mean that you're the one who has to... I'm not talking about Raid. I'm talking about Cloda. <coughs> I heard the text. We all heard your text, Eamon. Well, Annie, I don't... I'm not... Uh, but it's whatever. Okay? But Una, <coughs> when are we going to tell them? Tell them what? <coughs> Annie? Annie, tell them. She wanted storming out there. You know, I kind of had the urge to from the very beginning. I mean, all my life I've dreamed of that kitchen, but tonight it's just 
Yeah. <laughs> Always has been. I haven't seen him in years. Neither have I, right? Why? Why would I? I don't live here. <laughs> he's your dad? <laughs> yeah. He's my dad. Well, it's fucked. You're all here for him and nobody's even talking about him. He doesn't care, right? Yes, he does care. He is our dad. Right? to you. You're only trying to convince yourself when was the last time he spoke to you. He even sent a birthday card. Catherine has a point. <coughs> you don't know what he's like. And quite frankly, you are lucky for it. If he did care, he'd be sat having dinner with us. Look, who knows? Sit down. Well, Catherine's not always right. You have come here to do one thing, so go. Do it. I'm not coming with you. I just can't understand why nobody else wants to see their dying father. He is sick. Let's not throw a pity party here. He has brought it on himself, even you know that. Ray, you don't understand how lucky you are here. You can leave. You can walk straight back down that driveway and not come back. I could. I would. Why do I have permission to leave when everybody else seems to be tied to this fucking house like dogs on a lead? Why do I not have the right to stay? Why doesn't my father want me? Oh, sorry. I will leave. After I've seen him. Come with me, Clara. Come with me. He doesn't want any of us. Then, Clara. Why did you come? <coughs> what do you want? I want to go home. But, um, this is your home. My home. Eamon's home. Yeah. Raid, I want a fucking drink. Okay. Just, um, just, just let me see him. Let, let me see him and I'll go. I will leave and you can go home. You can go home with Eamon. <coughs> with Eamon. Can I hug you? <laughs> I am a man, am I? What are you doing? Luna! You promised. What did she promise you, Annie? I think there's a lot of things that we need to talk about. Sister to sister. Clara, you're fine, love. We were just setting the table. It's a dump in here. <coughs> I saw you. Look, Clara, there's no need to make a mess of it all. A mess? A mess? Look around you, Una. Our whole kitchen is covered in your mess. And I've been trying to tidy it up all night. Well, you're doing a pretty pathetic job. Just come and sit down and get ready for dinner. I'm not hungry anymore. <coughs> <coughs> How long have you been doing this? We haven't been doing anything. Oh, cut the shit, Una. Look at me. Look at me in the eye. God, I can't believe you asking me back here. <coughs> asking us all back here. And aren't you glad you came? Once a year, if we're so lucky to receive your presence. Twice a year, if it's a special occasion. 
you know, you come into my house, my house, Coda, and you don't answer to your daddy anymore. You answer to me. I answer only to myself. You are far from this god you seem to think you are. All I ever wanted was to be your sister, Coda. And have I not earned that? All I ever wanted was to have you like how you had me, and you ran. You left me. You all left me here, and Annie, well, Annie's the only one who ever stayed. <coughs> she stayed because she had to. No one calls, no one comes and checks if I'm all right or if my head's away, just like how is it? No one asks me if I need any help, because I do this all alone. I do it all by my bloody self. All I ever wanted was to be surrounded by you, by your love, but hey! It's great here, isn't it? Great here in this house. You know, I feel more alone in this moment with a lot of you beside me than I have felt in years. <coughs> you know you have this thing flowing through you. Sick thing. Always wanting to be loved. <laughs> By everything and everyone who crosses your path. But it's not the normal kind of love that we have. It's a writhing kind of love. The kind that everyone squirms at the touch. You want it all, and it all is too much. You have no idea how to love something how we do. So don't just stand there and pretend like we forced you into this. And the truth is, <coughs> you didn't have anything better to do. You never did. Laura, I loved you. You just give over. It's, uh, it's been a long time, you and I. Yeah. I'm starting to think it's been too long. Because I don't really know you like that anymore, do I? I don't think so. No. She's gone. <coughs> Hooray. She's gone. Isn't she? I don't know. Did you, uh, did you sort something out? I think so. I'm sorry, Chloe. I don't want to hear from you again. <laughs> Annie. Annie, what's going on? Where is she? She's gone. Catherine. I think you sent her on her way pretty well. She's upstairs. She's upstairs. She's gone to see Dad. She's upstairs. She's upstairs. Where is he? He's not here. Una? Where is he? He's not here. 
I don't understand any. I mean, Annie, what do you mean? He's not oh, here. He's some sick joke. Oh, oh, he's not I here. He's not here. I mean, I looked. I looked, I looked at the room and I went to the bathroom and I looked at the hall and he was not nowhere. Here. I went upstairs and I knew he wasn't there. Annie, can you not just here. say something, please? You should have seen him the day before. Nothing unusual. He was too sick for the drink, but he couldn't hear me when I'd say that, and sometimes I don't think he'd hurt me in a long time. And again, he was too sick without the drink, so. I didn't know what to do anymore. Oh my God. And we'd take it in turns. <coughs> Wouldn't we, Annie? Taking it in turns to make his tea and change his sheets <coughs> and his pissed on underwear. And you left me with him. You'd always do that. You'd always leave me with and him. And it was my night off. Finally, some time to myself. <coughs> I wouldn't know what to do when he'd start shouting or shaking or, or foaming. And I went to the pub. And I had a drink. And then I had a couple more, and I swore to myself that it was going to be better. But it was different from all the other times. I couldn't hold him down. And then he wouldn't wake up. And when I came home, Annie... It was quiet. So quiet. Too quiet. He wouldn't wake up. He wouldn't open his eyes. Murray, can you check again, please? He's not there. Murray, it's the first one on the right. Can you just go up and He's check? not there. Cut. He's dead. We had him cremated. <gasps> Thanks for the call, Annie. <laughs> I know. I'm no saint. <laughs> but you're all fucked, too. It must be from him. And now it is the only thing he will ever give me. So maybe he did know me. Small, tiny, fucked part of me. She going upstairs. Let her. <laughs> you are sick. Annie, we're going. <laughs> you know, you can't take everything from me, Catherine. Take everything from you, Una. Oh. Oh. oh, God, that is good. And what about you, huh? What about everything you've taken from Annie? God, she's only 17. And Clodagh? I guess it's pretty clear now what you took from her. <laughs> you know, I am sorry. You've been feeling so hard done by these past few years. It must have been hard. Working while you were in school. Picking up extra shifts. God, it must have been hard. Earning for five people. Doing the shopping. <coughs> dealing with dad's drunken bullshit on a daily basis and all at the young age of 16. Oh wait, Una. 
That was me. You know, I was only nine when she passed away. God, I was nine, Una. Don't you think I wanted to go out and play with you girls? Don't you think I wanted to be young and silly too, but I didn't have a big sister to protect me from the mess of a man and I'm sorry that he's dead. I really am. I'm sorry for Annie and Jesus, Una. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry he didn't tell you he loved you. You didn't deserve that. None of us did, but God, oh, I am sick of this story. I am sick of feeling sorry for everybody else but myself. When is someone gonna start feeling sorry for me, Una? Where's my apology? He was supposed to apologize to me for everything that he had put me through and it was finally, it was finally gonna be okay. He was supposed to say sorry and have fun. <coughs> he was supposed to say sorry, Una, I, I really, really needed him to say sorry. And you have taken that away from me. So don't you sit there and try to blame me for taking Ali. <laughs> She's not turning into you or me. <laughs> I used to hang on to every word you said, Catherine. I never questioned your morals. I never wanted more. You know what, Una? You know what I'm most <laughs> sorry for? <coughs> I'm most sorry for the person you've become. Mum would be so disappointed. I love you. I love you. I love you. Why don't we have told them, Una? I was so scared it was going to be just me and you stuck in this house forever. Why couldn't we just have told them? It's not your fault, Annie. I know. Don't go, Annie. Please, don't go. Come on, don't go. You've always been watching me, haven't you? Always scared that I'll leave. Where would I have gone, Una? Where else would I be except here? <coughs> I've always just been a step behind you. Always behind you. And I hated Dad. I hated him. I'm not sorry that he's dead, I'm sorry that he was ever here and that he made us like this. Made us get used to being left behind. Don't go, Annie. Come on. Annie, stay here. Stay in your home with me. <coughs> you know, I used to think all this is ever going to be was just this. Just me, just you, just us. I love you, Annie. You have to get out of here, Una. <clears throat> He 
need help, Una. This is it. Isn't it? This is you. has been you. But I'm just sorry I didn't realize it sooner. For me. For Annie. For Dad. You took away the only chance of my daddy dancing with me at my wedding. You are dead to me. Eamon, come on, we're leaving. Eamon, I said we're leaving. Eamon, you don't leave me. For Christ's sake, Clona, if you don't give me one fucking second! I lied. I lied earlier when I said I remembered the wedding. I lied. The one when you wore your mother's dress and I had on your dad's jacket and I asked him <laughs> to play. I lied. I never lied. I do remember other stuff, though. I remember when Annie was born. I remember when you held her for the first time. I remember when she threw that picture on the wall upstairs and Catherine very nearly killed it, but for how cute she was. I remember. I sometimes even remember your mother, but uh, probably just making that one up. Yeah, I remember. Nine years of man. And I can picture your face more clearly than I do, Clotus.
You know, we used to drink every Friday. Did you know that? Every Friday, me and her would drink. Drink and drink until our faces were red and we'd be crawling around on the floor looking for the nearest sink or toilet bowl. Until one Friday, we were drinking. And I was having that same stuff he used to. And uh, when she handed it to me, when she handed it to me, she gave me that look. That look she used to give him when things were bad. The one reserved specially for him. So I drank quickly, in spite of her like he would. And as I drank, I forgot for one fucking brilliant second I forgot about You know, I had to convince her to come here. It's your family. I said it's mine too. One last time and we'll never be back. That's what I said. <coughs> because Una, I can't stop remembering. What we did, and your face when we did it, and how when it happened it was like everything lit up in technicolor. You know, after I just sat in the car, until it got dark, and it was like, There you were. Here you are. Well, suppose we're too old now. Yeah? Too late for all of this. Annie's 17 now. She'll be done school in, what, a year, a year and a half? Sure. Catherine's in London. She left when she was, what, 23? Yeah. Too late. Too old for all of this then. Look, Nona. If you ever need any. Kathy, my dad, he called me Kathy. He didn't know who I was anymore, in the end. And when he was asleep, I used to dream of dancing with your hands on me. Dancing in a circle of light, you know, I needed it like I have never needed anything in my life. Maybe I'm sick, like how he was, sick for wanting. And you know, I called you, Eamon, because I knew you were the only person who still wanted me. That some ounce of you still wanted what I was. When I was a girl, I used to think I needed this before I knew what needing meant.
You think I should be sorry? For all this. No. No. Don't tell me I don't want to know. Sarah, play something, some noise, anything. I'd rather hear than anywhere else. 